Hey guys and welcome to this quick tutorial. This tutorial will cover how to use the PBR door spec by Not Lonely and UFPS. Now I know that UFPS has a way of dealing with doors but honestly I, I don't like it. I, I truly adore the way UFPS works but their door system is something I simply don't understand why they, they do it like this. I know it's it's flexible and it has things for waypoints and stuff but a simple door is a simple door. Now <laughs> what a rant. So um, yeah this pack by uh, not lonely is is totally awesome he has some some great assets so make sure uh, you check it out now in order to make this work with ufps you need to do a couple of things and they are very simple so i made a small scene with a ufps player a pbr door and a key and in order to make it work all you need to do is go to the UFPS camera, add a sphere collider which is a trigger and add a rigid body. Make sure the use gravity is turned off and is kinematic is turned on. And that's all you need to do to make it work. Because we are using UFPS you can uh, use its HUD system instead of the built-in system that comes with the door pack. And the way to do this is simply reference to the um, where is it uh, simple HUD script here so what I've done first and foremost is I made the invisible color to public and the text fade speed to public this holds a little story so standard uh, UFPS fades to black but what happens is when you fade out to black you will still see it lingers on on the screen so in order to fix this you will need to uh, put it at white and make sure it's transparent and i'm going to show you uh, what i've changed so in draw text uh, over here uh, standard it's uh, 0.4 i guess and all I did was use this variable as a public as you already know by now and I put it here public float text feed it's um, 0 0.2 and I made it uh, 1 because it fades out nicer uh, one thing you need to know about lerping is that the lower the number, the, the longer it will take, which is, yeah, whatever it is. So, first things first, for the key, when you download the package, uh, you won't see the key name. That's something I've added myself. And in order to speak with the UFPS player, you will need to make a reference to the uh, Vision Punk uh, first person player event handler. I made it player um, over here. And another thing I've done was the door script. You will see that the developer reference at get key to the door script. And I simply changed it over here. Door script is door script. And then I reference to the door component, which you need to drag in for which key, which door functions. Over here, I make a reference to finding a game object that is tagged with player and I get the component of uh, Vision Punk's first person player event handler. Then here at get key I simply cast a message to the HUD text by sending the string here. You picked up the key name key and the key name is of course over here office. So that's all you need to do for the key script. Make sure you save it. And then for the door, it's uh, roughly the same thing. So when you download it, once again, you won't see the key name and the lock text will be different. So I 
took notion of how the developer handles uh, which button you can use for the door and I applied the same. So key name is office and lock text is you need the key name key. So key name will be replaced by office in the script. So basically you don't need the door text canvas anymore, but I kept it in. One more thing, in order to see the lock text, the key system needs to be enabled. So if we scroll up in the door script, the same thing as in the key script, I made a reference to the Vision Punk first person player event handler and I named it player with a capital P because the developer has already a underscore P which references to the camera and where is it? Oh yeah, here. The public string key name which is called office and then over here key name references to office you need the key name key. So then we scroll down to the start method and once again I made the reference to the uh, player so game object find game object with tag player and which gets the component of the first person player event handler and then over here at 140 you need to disable add text I could also delete this but I kept it in and then here in the update at line 206 you need to disable the height hint make sure you keep the show hint because it's a method to yeah, basically send the text to the UFPS player then at 220 you need to disable the height hint once again and then sure I don't forget anything yeah over here I simply hide it the whole block I made a temporary string which references to the lock text and that's this one here which is in bold and then you simply say temp text is temp text replace key name which is in square brackets and replace it by the door text dot key name and this will show you need the office key which is very simple and then the same thing as in the key script all you need to do is say player dot head text dot send temp text and of course hide the show text because show text will show as the developer intended with his own int system which is perfectly fine but once again this is how you could implement it with uh, UFPS so in this function the show text function all you need to do is disable these three lines and um, over here we do the same thing as we are used to by now we simply send the temporary text which is in this case replacing the button by the uh, controls open button you don't need to do this but I simply hide it the text just to make sure that I could see where the references were in the script which is over here hide text you won't need it anymore and over here at the closed door when the control method is a button type and you're not auto closing it you will need to hide the text since you are using ufps you don't need to do this so i hope i covered it all make sure you check for errors if you press play now you will see that the hit system is fully covered by ufps and you can pick up the key which is a office key and you can open the door of course and one other thing I've changed and I'm not sure if I mentioned it really but over here with the invisible color so if I put this to black again you will see what the problem was so I hope you can see it so 
it fade out and it still has this gray ugly reminiscence of what it once was I'm not sure how to explain it so that's why I have put this on white so once you do this it fades out as it should be I mentioned this before to the UFPS developers but I'm sure <laughs> they are doing other things than reading my emails so that's basically everything you need to do to make the door pack work with UFPS so the most important thing is the simplest thing of them all you need to put in a rigid body and check gravity check is kinematic and add a sphere collider or any type of collider that you want so check out UFPS check out the PBR door pack it really is a fantastic pack with a nice door editor and all that stuff but I'm pretty sure you will find it useful and I hope you found this tutorial useful as well so so long guys I'm out of here bye bye